On the 31st of August this year, the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board, JAM, at its policy meeting in Abuja, decided to drop the old tradition of fixing the general cutoff mark for admission into tertiary institutions in Nigeria. The decision was taken after several stakeholders failed to reach a consensus on a general admission benchmark. While on the field to monitor the ongoing exit examination for senior secondary school students, we spoke to the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Education, to comment on the possible implication of this decision on the tertiary education system. What was done before was that just for administrative purpose, to say anything below that, might don't even process it to us to look at. Because what you call cut of mad in practice does not exist. That is the truth. Because you go and carry a figure now, you go to the University of Lagos, they tell you the minimum for that course is 250. And you are carrying 140 and saying this cut off mark. How is it cut off mark? You go to ABU for some courses. For medicine now, they will tell you if you have 270, you can't get in. So cut off mark has no meaning. JAMP has in the past fixed the minimum benchmark for admission into tertiary institutions in Nigeria. Between 2018 and 2020, JAMP fixed 140 and 160 as the general cutoff mark for admission into universities. But the new decision for schools to set their independent cutoff marks appears to be a cheery news for some young people. The universities themselves should prepare their exams for their students and whoever passes should be given the admission. Because JAMP have been frustrating students. Personally, JAMP have frustrated me. But we're all glory to God. It's all good now. The rate of we students we, we get admitted this year is very increased more than last year that JAM 2 cut off mark for school. We also spoke to an associate professor who believes strongly that the decision will not overpopulate the institutions. Universities um, admit on the basis of what they call carrying capacity. You know, so universities make their own independent judgment even before now. So you're not going to just uh, simply be admitting for the sake of it or because um, you want to populate your institution where you don't have the necessary infrastructure, necessary utilities. Do not forget that um, learning process thrive um, on these elements. Over 1.3 million candidates participated in the 2021 Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination. However, only 168,613 candidates scored 200 and above, while 68,811 candidates scored 120 and below, a result many have described as a mass failure, considering the 2020 results where over 404,000 candidates scored 200 and above.